In this session, we are going to work with input boxes. An input box is a web element. Therefore, the first step is to find the input box and the second step is to perform an action on the input box. If you're interested in a document, then you can check out the description to find a link to this document. I transcribed the video just in case if you want to read the information. In our AUT, which is Orange HRM, I'm going to first bring up the developer tools, the shortcut way of Control Shift I. Then click Control F to search for input by writing two forward slashes input. We see one of eight. Input is the tag name and the first element is read only. The Selenium find element method will only locate this element because it only selects the first matching element. When I go to the next element, two of eight, we see it is hidden. It is hidden from the UI. Do you see how the type attribute shows hidden as the value? The next three are also hidden. Three of eight, four of eight, five of eight, all show hidden as the value for the type attribute. However, the remaining elements are not hidden, and that is username, password, and the login button. When it comes to the find elements method, it will locate all of these elements. And let me show you by going back to the IDE, which we already have the import statements for web driver, by class, Chrome driver manager, and we have set up our application to test on the Chrome browser to maximize and load the AUT. The next step is to find all of the elements using driver.findElements with an S by the tag name, which has a value of input. Then assign it to a name like input underscore tags. Let's print the number of input tags by writing a message that says number of input tag names. And we're going to use the len function. Then pass in input tags. Now let's run. As expected, we see it has number of input tag names equals eight. Go back to the application because we're going to transition to working with the input tag boxes. And the first step, inspect input. And we see the ID attribute has a value of txt user name. Let's also inspect the password box. It has a value of txt password for the ID attribute. For our test script, let's start by writing driver.findElement by ID. The value for username is txt username dot send keys. Send keys is a Selenium method for typing data into an input box. The first keys we send will not be correct. And those values are A, B, C, D, E. Now, the next method will clear the invalid username. Driver.findElement by ID. The value will be the same, txt username, and we use a clear method. In this scenario, I entered the wrong username. However, we may come across a scenario where our application has pre-populated data, and we must clear the existing data to write in our correct data. So that's the scenario. We're entering A, B, C, D, E, which is not correct. Clear it. 
Then write driver dot find element by ID. And this time we're going to enter the correct data. Send keys, which have a value of add men. Now, at this point, we have entered the correct data for username. Now, let's enter the correct data for password. Driver dot find element by ID. The value is txt password. Send keys, add men one, two, three. Now, Let's emulate entering the enter key by writing keys dot enter. Now enter key, we must import the key statement, which is line two from Selenium dot web driver import keys. Now we have entered the key. Let's also write a sleep statement so we can see the next page when it loads. And let's sleep for two seconds. Now, let's run. We see the next page loaded. That's great. Okay, now there is one more concept I wanna show you, and that's to enter data into the input box without using the send keys method, but use JavaScript. So I'm going to copy all this information and paste in this next file. And the first step is to find the username. If I could spell it right, element by ID. Pass in the same value. And do the same for password. element by ID. Pass in txt password. Now we're going to enter the data for jo using JavaScript, and that's by writing driver. Dro uh, my bad, I apologize. We're going to write that's right driver dot execute script, and the value will be are you meant with the s zero dot value equals and we're going to pass in the value semicolon followed by the variable username i'm not going to type this up next time for password i'm going to copy and paste and the value is admin one two three now we're using javascript to enter the value now we're going to click the enter key by writing password dot send keys keys dot enter now let's run after i enter a sleep statement of two seconds let's run and we see that it clicked no, well, let me add a print statement so we can like verify that that was the same page that was that it was a JavaScript. So I'm going to write title without send keys to enter data. Driver dot title. Now let's run again. This will show us the difference between both statements by using that print statement. Yes, we see the title of the page. That's it for working with input boxes using send keys and JavaScript. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session.